We're taking a look at what's ahead in TVs in 2013, and I'm joined by Jim Wilcox, Consumer Reports television expert. Hey, Paul. Jim, we've now seen the first production models of some new TV technologies. How are those looking? These technologies we've seen now for almost a year in prototype stage, but they're actually arriving now, and frankly, they're impressive. Um, you know, the 4K Ultra HD sets that we've seen, um, you know, that you, you can really see a lot of picture detail and you can get incredibly close to the TVs without seeing the pixel structure in the TV. Um, the OLEDs are really striking primarily because they have unlimited viewing angles, um, pretty much unlimited black levels, and the colors on those TVs really pop. So I think that people are really going to be impressed by the demos that they get um, as soon as those TVs are available. What are these sets going to cost, though? That's been a concern. Do we know more about that now? Yeah, we've seen a lot of announcements, but not a lot of pricing. Now, the first sets that arrived, the Ultra HD sets, were around uh, twenty dollars to $25,000. And what we saw here is a lot of manufacturers come out with smaller size sets, and also some secondary brands come out announcing Ultra HD TVs, which we think will drive down the cost. But we think that you know, even for a 55 or 65-inch set, it's still going to be around ten thousand dollars. Wow! You know, OLED TVs um, primarily announced from Samsung and from uh, LG Electronics. LG was the only one who announced that their fifty-five inch set's going to cost about twelve thousand dollars. So these TVs are not going to be cheap. Now those Ultra HD sets have got incredible capacity to show detail, but we know there are going to be limitations to how much content there is that that has all that detail in it. What do we know about that now? Yeah, I mean, all these TVs will upscale 1080p content, but there's not going to be a lot of native 4K content that really can show these TVs off. However, one of the things that was encouraging is that Sony this year announced, um, you know, they have a picture studio, so they've been in production with 4K. They do 4K in movie theaters. They said that they're going to have some kind of distribution system that hits this summer to get um, 4K content into consumers' homes. When we were poking around their booth, we saw a little small media player. It was a prototype. But the idea is that somehow they're going to provide a media player to people that they'll be able to update with new 4K titles from their movie studios. So I, I think that between that and maybe some streaming initiatives, um, later this year we'll see some native 4K content. Speaking of streaming, smart TV, the ability to access internet content, to control your television in different ways like gesture and voice uh, is a big part of TV now. What do we know about what's coming in 2013? Well, you know, there's so much content on TVs that companies here are showing a lot of new interfaces because they want to make it easy for people to find and organize the content that they're getting. There's also been a lot of attention spent about being able to take the content that exists on other devices, you know, tablets and cell phones, and get that onto your TV using a variety of different wired and wireless technologies, everything from Miracast and WiDi to uh, NFC technology. And so we expect to see more of that kind of thing in the future. Thanks, Jim. Check out the rest of our CES 2013 coverage on TVs, and of course stay tuned through the year as we continue to cover TVs and of course to test them for our ratings. I'm Paul Reynolds for Consumer Reports.